Yo guys, I'm streaming on Twitch as well. Check out the description for my Twitch channel. Make sure to give a follow. On top of that, if you want any of my profiles or some of my weak art, they can be found in the description as well. Enjoy the video. So the first thing, and arguably the most important part about healing UI, is probably the rate frames. So this is a clip of me running in the background. I'll be talking over it a little bit. Um, so I have, as you can notice, the standard blizzard frames. Uh, that's a lot decision. People may laugh at me for that. Uh, the reason I do that is because I think they're really clean. Uh, I think they're more clean than the other ones that I've seen. Uh, other uh, rate frames are things like heal bots or anything else. And they usually use like a darker background, which for some reason I, I can't really see if someone is low HP or not. On top of that, I think the colors on the normal British frame are fine. Uh, so that's why I use them. I do use a skin though, like a slight uh, alteration. There's also a Reddit post in the description that you can check out uh, how you can install that skin. It's really not hard, it takes like a minute to do. Uh, for the buffs and debuffs that you see, uh, that's a separate add-on. It's called Enhanced Rate Frames. Um, with this you can configure everything from buffs to debuffs and what you want to see where and how big you want to see them. I've only configured this for uh, buffs, so for like heals. So for example, as you can see, my Renewing Mist is in the exact middle. Uh, other heals, like my Essence Font, is in the bottom right, which is a bit smaller because it's a little bit less important. Debuffs are always shown at the bottom left for me. Um, that's why I want to know why people are taking damage or what they are taking damage from. So for example, the Bleed Tags here are very important to know. Other than that, who has the arrows? Like I want to see that as well because I'm sometimes raid leading, so I need to call out who goes where. Uh, I haven't configured the debuffs at all, but you can do that if you want in the add-on. One small important note for Mistweavers as well, what usually doesn't show up on the standard rate frames, uh, it's something called Enveloping Breath. It's the hot that goes out during uh, Invoke. Uh, that's this icon here. Make sure to track that, it's quite important. It's a lot of your healing. For the spellable debuffs, you can see the icon in the top right. Uh, that means that I can dispel something. Uh, I of course also see the debuff in the bottom left, but it's not always clear as to what I can dispel or what I cannot dispel. So next up is weak auras. So for weak auras, I'm going to talk about like the healing specific ones. Um, it's the, the monk one here, of course. Uh, it's the one that I made myself. It's quite easy. It's just track some basic CDs. Uh, I also made these ones here. It's just simple. I'm just tracking my own CDs. I'm tracking my trinkets. Um, I also have one for innervate or power infusion if I'm getting that. Uh, it just makes it easier. I don't have to look at like the top right every time. Um, I would heavily recommend to actually use the weak RS, uh, that Just track your basic CDs because it's better if your eyes are like focused on this part of the or your character instead of like at the bottom. Because then you can still see part of your character like swirlies under you and stuff. It's I would definitely recommend it. As for my bars, I use bartender. And as for my DPS meter, I use details. It's all quite simple. For my... Uh, target frames I use easy frames I can figure this all basically nothing like I, I moved these bars over here but I didn't really do anything special with them I just I liked the, the basic way of a lot of stuff I don't put a lot of effort into my UI um, but I like it to just be clean and to actually show me what I want to sh uh, what I want to show small extra side note for dungeons uh, I use a different enhanced rate frames profile for dungeons uh, just a quick mention that I also use method rate tools for the CDs, so I can track what which people are popping what. Uh, for dungeons, I just made all the icons bigger and made some stuff clearer for myself to actually know what I use. I also made the defensive uh, part, so when I use something like my defensive, it shows up in the top left. It shows up for everyone, so I know when people are popping CDs, so I actually don't have to heal them a lot, maybe. Other than that, I don't use a whole lot of UI overhauling add-ons. I don't use Elf UI, I don't use Tuck UI, I don't use anything else really. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I taught you something. Uh, be sure to check out the description for the profiles if you want it. And I'll see you guys next time.